Hey everyone, I am here and I am so excited. Finally, it was back ordered. The men and women's limited edition fragrance box sets have arrived and I'm so excited to share them with you. What you may not know is that this was uh, one of those like packaging shipping issues. It was not something that Mary Kay held off on. These were supposed to be issued earlier this year. So I went ahead and ordered a few. I couldn't order all of them, of course, because I wanted to make sure I had some before they sold out. And they will sell out. But I wanted you to see these for yourself. So this is the men's box set. And there are three fragrance vials. These are some of our best-selling colognes. And what I'll do later is post in the comments a little bit about each of the men's cologne fragrance scent notes a little bit about them because i don't have the stuff memorized this one is called cityscape and again it's a little hard to read this is the cityscape for men i would describe this as being kind of a well it's kind of designed for someone in the metro area someone who's on the go sophisticated goes to clubs works in a skyscraper you know that scent that it's not like a woodsy scent. It's not like a you know, more organic scent like some of our other uh, colognes and fragrances tend to be. The next one is called High Intensity. And again, it's, it's a little tricky to read the labels. Trying to get the angle right. Just trust me on that. Now, this is more what I call a traditional cologne scent. This is the kind of thing I'd imagine my father wearing, whereas the other one is more like what my husband or brother would wear. And this is not an age thing. It's just the scent. It's, it's a little bit different. Um, I'm horrible at describing these things. This is why I don't showcase fragrances much. And don't mind my hair. I just wanted to get it out of the way. It's a distraction on camera. So this is called High Intensity Sport. And again, these are based or inspired by scents that kind of tie into people who... You know, into that. This makes me think more of a, oh, I'm horrible with those, you know, names of other brands, but you know, like Dracon Noir, which was so famous and everybody loved it, or Axe Body Sprays. This makes me think of that. Now, we had a limited edition high intensity ocean, but um, high intensity and high intensity sport, I think, are regular colognes, and I know Cityscape for him is, but this is still a really nice gift. Think of it as a stocking stuffer. Think of it as a nice gift for like, oh, I don't know, if you had a boyfriend that you met in November, and you took to your parents' house for Christmas, and you weren't sure what to give him, this would be the perfect gift. So if we had this nine years ago, <laughs> actually more than nine years ago, when my husband and I met, I'm sorry, I should have silenced the phone, I would have probably given him this instead of a real red stapler inspired by the show office space or the movie office space um that's an inside joke but the point is i would say that he would appreciate that set i know he uses some of our men's fragrances he particularly likes um anything like a body wash we don't currently have a men's body wash that's scented we do sometimes do limited edition ones so the ladies fragrance box set this is special this one it's gone it's gone you may remember how much I loved Live Fearlessly. I still do, although Illumini has kind of taken over as my net new favorite. Live Fearlessly. Now, I have this also, because I saved some from last year, in the fragrance wands where we had Cityscape for Her, White Diamonds, and Live Fearlessly, which are bigger. These are smaller. And those, I think, are they spray? Yeah, they're spray, not roller. But I love this kind of almost woodsy scent. This is a, a wood, woody floor or a woody oriental. It's just something different about it. It's, it's a little earthy, but I like it. I'm not a big floral scent, and I'm not a big fruity scent. So to me, I think that's why I love Live Fearlessly. But I do like some floral scents. I will say that much. Well, internationally, they released two other scents. They did not release here in the States. And they're called Dream Fearlessly and love fearlessly and i'm so excited this has been over a year in the making that they got these and they got them for us so love fearlessly i would describe this as being much more floral lighter more elegant and of course dream fearlessly oh this is so sweet this makes me think of like a nice glass of sangria 
at the end of a long, hard day at work. Ooh, just, I almost could eat this. I'm not gonna, don't worry, but I could eat this. So think about it this way. You're a woman, you have different personalities, different moods. You can have all three of these, obviously, and they all still would be appropriate for you. They might just be the different parts of you that you express at different times of day or different holidays or different moods. And that's one of the reasons why I love it when they release a multi-fragrance set as opposed to just one cologne at a time or one perfume at a time. It, it's nice because then someone can say, well, I liked all three, but this is the one I like the best. And if it's one of the ones we carry regularly, now you know exactly what to get for anniversary or birthday. You can get them the full-size bottle. Or if they get a gift card, because you can buy gift cards for me for the holidays. Let's not forget, they're not that far off. You can then use that gift card to put towards their purchase of the perfume. And if for any reason they're not 100% satisfied, guess what? You can return it or exchange it 100% satisfaction guaranteed. No restocking fee. No shipping fee. I mean, is that awesome or what? So just know, fragrances are a very personal choice and they can be a little tricky. But you still have recourse if you change your mind. I can't say that about other perfumers or fragrance shops. I honestly don't think they will take returns. And if they do, I'm shocked. But no, with me, just like all our skincare and our makeup, I honor that policy because it's a Mary Kay product. But I'll tell you right now, these scents are so amazing, it's very unlikely anyone's going to be returning them. What I will tell you is these will sell out. And I'm keeping these two for me and my husband. But I have a few more. Once they're gone, they're gone. So if you're at all interested, don't wait till my open house next weekend. Don't wait for me to talk about them again in my weekly you know, holiday gifting tips. Don't wait till Pink Friday to order it. Tell me now so I can set it aside for you. You Maybe you want to put a deposit on it and then just pay the rest when you get paid on Friday. But just trust me, these will go quick. And I need to know and I need to have your pre-order to get it. Otherwise, once I'm out of what I have in my office, that is it. I don't want to promise someone something I can't get to them because of shipping delays and because of supply limitations. But that's what I've got for you guys today. So I hope you loved your Friday, Fragrance Friday. And I will be seeing you again tomorrow as I'm going to reteach. I'm studying it now. Uh, a makeup look that my friend Carmen taught last night for the consultants and special guests. In case you want to know, we've been doing a color makeover class every Thursday night for free on Facebook. You could be in on that if you want to. You've got to contact me and let me know, though. And it's the cutest scarecrow makeup you've ever seen. There's also an image for a cheetah. I don't recall if one of our directors taught that or not. I'm going to see if I can emulate that. That might take a little more artistry than I am capable of, but we can try. Either way, you can take regular Mary Kay makeup and use it to do your makeup. Remembering to put your primer on first. And then washing off with your oil-free eye makeup remover and your micellar water before applying your cleanser to remove your makeup. Because if you're using that cruddy Halloween makeup that you get at CVS or a party store, it's going to hurt coming off. That stuff is not well made. It's not designed to come off easily. It's meant to stay on. So if you don't put our primer on first, it is going to hurt coming off. You're going to have the kid crying when you try to remove his Halloween makeup. So don't put your kid through that. And trust me, you don't want to try to cut the eye holes bigger on a mask. Those masks aren't safe anyway. So putting on makeup is safer. And in the end, you're going to have to... Um, remove it before they go to bed because we don't leave makeup in our skin when we go to bed at night, right? We wash before we go to bed. So if you have any questions, I have plenty of eye makeup remover, primer, and micellar water. If you're local to me, I can deliver it to you in time for Halloween. If you need help with or tips on Halloween makeup, I'm your girl. I love Halloween. If you haven't already been watching in the VIP group, I've been posting some of my favorite Halloween costumes over the years, and I have a lot of them. So uh, let me know how I can be of service to you, and I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Bye!